Now the treatment of keratitis. To start off, let's treat bacterial keratitis first. Now uh, various drugs were used earlier, but presently only topical fourth generation fluoroquinolones are the drugs of choice. Usually moxifloxacin or gadifloxacin depending on the severity of the condition. These are the preferred drugs, moxi or gatifloxacin. Now the fungal keratitis, it has always been the same drug that is topical natamycin. That is the drug of choice, natamycin for fungal and for viral we have three types that is acyclovir, famcyclovir or valacyclovir. These topical again for viral, acyclovir, famcyclovir or valacyclovir. And for acanthamoeba is an interesting drug it is polyhexamethylene biguanide. Okay, this drug, it has to be prepared then and there and it is not available over the counter. It's called PHMB, polyhexamethylene biguanide. Now, if you have noticed, all of these drugs are topical. You will not give any systemic drug because cornea is a vascular and these drugs will not be able to penetrate the cornea. Now, that is the treating the etiology. What will you do to relieve the patient's pain? You can use cycloplegics. Most commonly, homatropine is used. However, you can also use atropine, tropicamide or cyclopentylate. So, homatropine is the most commonly used drug to relieve pain in keratis, keratitis. Okay. Let's look at some non-healing ulcers. What are the causes of non-healing ulcers? Even though you have treated them with all the above mentioned drugs, they do not heal, then you have to suspect diabetes mellitus. Or when there is a foreign body incarceration or if you have diagnosed it wrong. That is, if you have diagnosed a fungal keratitis as a bacterial keratitis and you are going on giving antibacterial drops, it will obviously not subside. So these are the causes of non-healing ulcers and the treatment will be if there is an impending perforation you are lost uh, last resort will be keratoplasty once it has perforated again keratoplasty however if the perforation is less than two millimeters now this is a very magical glue you just place this glue on the uh, small ulcer and it is going to heal and form into a natural cornea this is called the cyanoacrylate glue. This is used for perforations less than 2 mm. However, those greater than 2 mm, you are going to give keratoplasty as the modality of management. Please try to remember this word, the cyanoacrylate glue. Okay. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at Medico App. Now, thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.